Hello there. How are you doing today? Good. Okay, I'm Deluca and I'll be taking care of you today. Uh, you are going to have a full dental checkup today. Uh, do you remember when was the last time you had one? Okay, that's a while ago. It should be good then. Um, we usually recommend that you have one between six months or a year, depending on your situation. Um, because you're new here, um, we request that you bring your panoramic x-ray, which we're going to take a look at it now and see what we're working with, okay? Uh, this will just give me an overall idea of what we're working with. If you have uh, any cavities in between your, your teeth or molar that I cannot see during the, the uh, exam that I'm going to perform right now. And um, the position of your teeth. Uh, and then we'll just get into it uh, with detail. Okay? Alright, let's take a look. You're not scared, are you? Good. This is, I promise I'll take good care of you, and in fact I have this policy with all my patients that if they ever feel any discomfort or pain, because you won't be able to be talking, just raise your hand. That way I'll know and I'll stop, and uh, we'll work to see what's best for you uh, to avoid any kind of pain. Alright? Okay, let's see this. Okay, I don't see we're going to have any major problems here. Um, teeth are in good shape. I don't see any cavities in between your pockets. That's good. All right, but we are going to go in depth right now, okay? I'm going to leave this right here for you to take it back if you like. And I'm going to start by putting this around you. It's a dental bit. So that you close, don't get dirty. All right, is that good? Okay. Good. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna go wash my hands right now, real quick. Then I'll put my gloves on and we'll get started. Okay. something that all dentists do and uh, people often don't know why and um, I'm gonna get very close to you right now and this is basically an oral oral cancer screening for you I'm going to be attaching your lymph nodes right there around your neck around your jaw something that a lot of dentists do but they don't tell the patient why we're doing it it's so gonna be patting your thyroid and uh, everything looks good now if you could open your mouth a bit for me okay just checking your tongue, the sides of your tongue. All right, it looks good. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna put my gloves on. So we can work properly. I want to wear one of these. Right, so 
so we can get started now. Let's go get my tools. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to take your gums mostly, also your teeth to see if there's any chipped teeth or molar, if there's any pockets that we haven't seen in the x-ray. Okay, and for that I'm going to be using the Explorer tool. Um, but for now, because your mouth is going to be open for quite a long time, possibly, um, I'm going to add some cotton pads around your, on the sides of your mouth. That's okay? Okay. will just help me work a little better. We don't have to move around too much. Okay, if you can open, I'm gonna put this one right here. Okay. And the other one on this side. Okay, on the sides of your tongue. There we go. I would like to see how your gums are. If there's any inflammation, anything that might be around your, uh, in between your teeth, and also if you have any tar built up around your teeth. Okay, so I'm going to be gently pinching with this tool. It should not hurt, but like I told you before, if you feel any discomfort, please let me know by raising your hand and I'll stop, okay? So I'm just taking an overall look around your teeth and then we'll go ahead and check the gums. Okay, good. So, what I am seeing is that you don't have any uh, major problems. There's just a little, let's see, this molar right here. Okay, um, me. right there. It has a little cavity, but it's very, very superficial. All the way on top, it looks like a little black line right there. There. Okay, that's the only cavity I see, and I don't think we're gonna deal. We're not gonna need a drill for this, so we can just scrape it off a little bit later. Okay, that's good news. Uh, we'll save a lot of trouble. So overall, your teeth are gonna get help. What I'm gonna do right now. Check your gums. Okay, just a few minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna be pinching. I'll use this one instead. Okay. Let me gently pinching and. 
between you guys. Remember, you can let me know anytime. If you feel any discomfort, you're probably gonna feeling be feeling a little pressure, but that's all. pain here? No? Okay. smaller right here right there okay it seems to be very superficial so I'm going to gently start scraping a little bit to see if how deep it goes it doesn't look like it will go very deep but um, um, I don't think this will bother you at all just because it's very superficial but uh, of course let me know if it does okay Is bothering you at all? Good. Uh, yeah, just like I thought, this is very, very superficial. See, I just the tall part of it and it's almost gone. Just the bottom part. I don't think we'll be done. Okay. Sorry, did that hurt? Okay, just a lot of pressure. Okay, but no pain. All right, just keep going in a little bit longer. It just shouldn't take. It shouldn't take too much longer. Okay. Okay. very well. 
leave the office and we'll be relaxed and you'll have these off with no pain or anything. You'll want to come back. A lot of patients here. major cavity. Actually enjoy coming to the dentist. You know, and you want to keep doing that to avoid any major problems like a, like a cavity like that where it can be between your molars. It's actually been a topic of discussion when uh, someone has a root canal. The cavity is just too big and risks getting the root infected. And we perform a root canal, we remove the root, but we do believe that piece could be the molar. But it is said that over the years, that filling that we put to that tooth can leak. And actually, you have bacteria inside, which obviously you can imagine that's not healthy. But this is just. Uh, it's being discussed as a potential cause of a lot of diseases, overall decline in health. That's why it's important to keep equipment updated. To do the work properly. Okay. All right, we're done with this. Let's take a closer look now. Again, as I said, this is very superficial. I scraped it off. We are going to have to do a little filling right here, just a little one, so that there's no food. I can get inside that little area. Just a tiny gap. Okay. And we can do that very quickly. I am going to grab this material and dab it on your molar. And then we're going to use a cure and light for the material to harden. Okay, so we can do that now. Before that, I would like to. I actually noticed that you have a little tar built up. I use this tool to scrape a little bit of tar away from this. Don't worry, I'm not uh, scratching your teeth right here. Just gently scraping this off. That's good. That looks good. Okay. Alright. I'm going to give you a glass of water right now to rinse your mouth. Okay. I'm going to remove those cotton softs that you have on your sides. Okay, so you can rinse your mouth. Okay. 
some water I'll let you rinse right before I fill in that uh, that cap that you have in your molar okay I'll be right back as much as you want. I'm just gonna do a little more work to fill in that little gap that you have right now and we'll be done. this material that we're going to use on your molar. Okay, you can rest your mouth right now if you'd like. And uh, just a few seconds and I'm going to start uh, working on that molar. Okay. basically going to feel like a paste that will harden with that light that I mentioned. You may have seen it before, it's called a curing light. Basically the ones that we use here are LED and uh, it will just help this material it and harden on the shape that we're going to give to it. Okay, so I'm mixing it up here a little bit. Okay, so I need your mouth open right now again. I'm going to put those cotton pads again, new ones, and um, we'll work on this. All right, so open wide. Put this to the side. Okay. open as wide as you can. Good. So we don't want this to get any other place. It's just gonna be a little bit. you can keep your mouth open. I'm going to get the cure light ready for you. Okay, and this is just going to be a light that I'm going to shine uh, inside your mouth for just a minute. I'm going to be wearing protective my gear, um, but don't worry about yourself because you're not going to be looking at the light. I'm just going to shine it inside the mouth. Okay. to look a little funny to you. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So this 
this the device I'm going to be shining this light on you over this molar and I'm gonna keep it steady here I'm gonna hold just like that it may get a little uncomfortable but it will only last a minute okay just one minute So once we finish this, um, I would like to give you a toothbrush. What kind of toothbrush do you use? Okay, well, we're gonna change that one. And I'm gonna give you one that's a little softer. So we actually make sure that we're reaching all those areas, especially in between your molars and right there where we remove some of the tar so we don't want that build up again I'm just gonna give you a few tips on how to properly brush your teeth and your tongue as well a lot of people don't brush their tongue and it's a place where a lot of bacteria can accumulate because a lot of food remains there So, with this filling, you are going to have to wait at least one hour before you can drink or eat anything, okay, including brushing your teeth. Um, and uh, we, yeah, we would like, like you to wait that long so that we make sure it won't, uh, it won't shift position or you just won't get rid of it completely okay I'm gonna give you a few seconds right now and then I'm going to uh, show you how to properly brush your teeth we can do that uh, just a little demonstration on one side of your mouth okay all right I'll be right back this one right here it looks very simple it's nothing too fancy about it but it does do the job very well it's a very soft and thin toothbrush okay so if you can open your mouth and I'm just gonna show you how to brush properly those areas that I'm interested in you you do brush your teeth properly but there's just some places where we can do a little bit of work okay just open your mouth So right here, I'm going to start brushing the just this area. We're not going to go to the other area because you have a feeling. And notice how I do this at an angle on the top part of your teeth. And I go slowly moving towards the next piece. You want to spend an equal amount of time per, per piece move in circular motion okay so I'm gonna stop right here and then I'm gonna go to the back of your teeth and again at an angle in circular motion spending equal amount of time on each piece okay especially right here the back part of the front of your teeth, right here, of your front teeth. OK. 
Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna go back here and on the front part. Circular motion. Spending time on each of them. You know, when you brush your teeth, you shouldn't just brush in less than a minute and rinse. It should spend a little longer. Because when star starts building up, a lot of brushing will have to do. Okay, that's good. So you get the idea, right? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna leave this for you to take. And uh, I'm going to remove the cotton swabs. some uh, time okay if you need to get ready and um, uh, this would be it right now go remove this swabs uh, remember you should not be eating anything for at least an hour from now I know you're probably hungry but you're gonna have to wait a little longer okay and um, you are in good shape your mouth and good health. If you would like to book another appointment with us just for a checkup, then I suggest that you do this in about six months. Okay? We'll just go in to check for any more tar buildup um, and then just to see how the feeling is doing. If it, uh, there's any leak or anything like that, it looks like it's. It was very superficial, like I said, um, but we'll take a look at it. Other than that, Keep doing what you do, and uh, you're in good health. Well, thank you for coming here today. Uh, remember to take the toothbrush when you leave, and you can take your panoramic x-ray. All right. Uh, thanks for making an appointment with us, and uh, I hope you enjoy this experience, and it wasn't too uh, scary. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day.